right, so here's a just a little tour of the place now. I've got a tooth of the problem, so I sound a bit funny at the moment. So here we are, we just do a 180 from the downstairs, we're at the top of the stairs. And we have a hallway. Please forgive the hideous doors. But this is how it came. In here is a, a room with my fridge freezer because there's nowhere for me to put it in the kitchen. I'll show you in a minute. We have a mirror there on the left. And there's a lamp down here with a, this has got one of these like little, you can build these, you know, for use out there looking at these kits. Look, they say about one and a half watts. And so they're ideal as a, the, the, the E32, I think it is. The, uh, but they're ideal for using in something like this. And if I can screw the thing back in again. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, that's where my temperature sensor was. I do believe it used to be here, but directly below there is a radiator. So, not the most practical place for it. So, one's been put there. Um, this is great. There's a switch down there, which isolates this room. I'll come back to this room now. This is my favorite. Mm, here's the bathroom, nothing grand. Nothing grand, but there is a bath. This also doubles up at the moment as my laundry room, where I hand wash my laundry. And um, I've just still got a few boxes of lots, of lots of coat hangers and stuff in there that I need to sort out. So that's the bathroom. On the left hand side here, we have the kitchen. A lovely little space. Uh, that's where I could put a cooker, as long as I get the smallest one possible because of the hole is so tight it's only 52 uh, millimeters 52 centimeters on the sides there um, underneath here is where you'd put maybe a fridge but as it's right next to a radiator I didn't really like the idea of that so I just put some stuff down there and cause my fridge freezer there's just absolutely no place in here for a fridge freezer uh, boiled up there got that lovely oven there it's brilliant this thing is absolutely brilliant as well for a grill um, not only does it let you take the plates out, it lets you put the bottom grill on, or the top part, or both, time and all that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so that's that like that for a good while until the uh, end of last week. I didn't have a space for a washing machine, so that's just gone in there. But the sink doesn't work very well, it doesn't drain very well. And so I don't want to put a washing machine in yet and cause any floods. Because that won't be very good. So... You can see there it says water heater. There isn't a water heater anymore. And this next door to the left here is where that water heater would have been. Um, but it's just a space there with a water filter and some other decorating bits and pieces when I get round to doing some of that. Lovely window, a bit of a side hatch jobby. I do like that. Now you can open that up. Um, I'm going to leave it open at the moment because I feel a bit warm even though it's been peeing down quite tremendously here. Um, so now this, yes, yeah, so right in front of you, you can see what is actually my makeshift bed at the moment. Because um, I don't have a bed. And so I'm just using these cushions. It's okay, I wake up in the middle of the night, you know, five, ten times with crick neck and all sorts, but I'll get it dealt with. I'll get it dealt with. It's all of us uh, want to get, and I don't know what to do with the space anyway. Uh, but this is just where I've got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be chucked. That is, <laughs> that's my um, laundry line. And there's some of the stuff that has been brought in before it started raining. Um, I don't really want to open it out in here. It's dry now, but that's good. And so we get back into that kitchen space over there. Now, in the end here, look, we've got a couple of these these um these little rooms and the doors are in the room with a fridge freezer that's my gas meter and that's just where i'm storing cds and dvds that's all everything's on my computer this is my bed frame but the actual uh, metal bit that goes down the middle of the frame is twisted and broken so i don't think i can use that again but it will leave me a lot of these slats to practice sword fighting with friends in the middle of the night huh. you think i say these things in jest there were two chaps out, out the front. Uh, one o'clock in the morning, with bits of wood, fighting each other. <laughs> the other night, so, you know. Mm. Uh, but that's all right. I think they were probably friends. So this is the lounge. Now, 
I don't think I'm going to use it at the lounge because the gas has gone up so high. Um, now this Nord thing's happened, it's gone up 33% again. I think in my country what it is, is you've got shareholders. And shareholders want their profits regardless of what's going on. Um, you know, they want you to lose less gas, but they still want to make profits. So they're going to just charge us for all sorts. And uh, So yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is because the sun comes across... Uh, all the way across the front, all the way across beautifully through the day and then down at night. I think I'm going to make this my little workshop space and then have my bedroom back into this last room, which was the first room that I could have shown you, but back into this last room, which should be my bedroom, as there's my wardrobe. And as we go in here, of course, we got my little space. It is still got laundry and bits and pieces in here because I'm still in the middle of doing everything. Uh, and even though this may look a bit dysfunctional to some, it's quite functional because I built the aeroplanes with quite a big wingspan. I needed something I could put the tail down here and then have a wing coming off here and a wing coming off down that end and still be able to get to things that I need for them um, and leave this radiator uh, unimpeded of you know, kicking out the heat because... One thing we don't want to do is just soak heat up into boxes and bits and pieces and not really get the benefit of it. Um, so yeah, so I might be shifting all of this stuff. Well, I think I'm going to is shift all this stuff from in this room and put it into the other room down there. So I can have that as my workshop area because I'll be spending most of my time in there. Um, I'm not actually officially working now. So I will be spending just about all of my time in there apart from sleep time. Which, to be honest with you, might happen in there anyway, but it should really happen in here as a bedroom. So there we go. That's um, that's the place so far. And like I said, those doors that come off those bottom rooms down the bottom there with that nice uh, that sort of blanket looking thing. That's my bed covering. That's what I use. Very warm. It's lovely. But there are two doors just in there. Uh, there's one behind that door there as well, but it's hideous colours. And it's all got bits of paint and all sorts all over it. And over the top there is part of my wine brewing kit. Because I intend on getting into doing a bit of wine brewing. I do like a drink. A bit of wine. Um, yeah. Have you noticed something about my distribution box? Electricity. Yes, you need a step ladder to get to it. Which is okay, I suppose. But there you go. Anyway, guys. That is a quick little tour of the place. Um, it's nothing special. But it's got uh, heating, it's insulated from noise with the double glazing, and it's also insulated um, from the elements. And that's all I need. I don't need much. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.